Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with more Link to the Best. All right. So, uh, still in the dark world. Last time we were able to successfully beat off the Ice Palace. <laughs> Got ourselves a nice blue mail. Very fashionable. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of overworlding on our way to the final dungeon. That is before the final dungeon. So, yeah, let's get started. Now, back in the dark world still. Home sweet home. Here we are. Oh. Uh, squatters! Anyway, um... So, this guy, he's selling some bombs. You can buy 30 of them, which is a lot. Don't need any of those for 100 rupees. Or, there's this special concoction to the left. This, my friends, is the super bomb. Gotta be very careful with this one. So here's the gimmick to the super bomb. You can't jump off ledges with the super bomb. You cannot run with the super bomb. I believe if you bump into any enemies, kaboom. So you need to be very careful. You're gonna need this actually to acquire the component to beat off the game, like entirely. Like I believe this is actually required for um, completion, to bring this game to completion. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh, oh, there's trouble. Okay, never mind. You can take as much damage as you want, I guess. Good to know. In a previous life, when I saw something like this, I was always under the impression that you had to bob and weave your way through here, but you can just tank hits. That's what the blue male's for, after all. But we're making our way back to the Great Pyramid, making our way downtown walking fast. Because this sweet, sweet crack is here for us. Boom, blow it up. Thank you, 1980 CIA. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna go in here. First, we're gonna get our bow out. Maybe there's an enemy, I don't know. What do you think's gonna happen, viewers? Let's step inside this sweet crack. Mmm, slide inside, here we go. Oh, it's a fountain, mysterious pond. Won't we throw something in? Of course we will. So we're gonna select an item. In this case, not the bow, yet. You can go through your entire inventory. We're gonna dip our Wonderful sword into this pond and see what we get. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful woman. Wow Did we drop this? Uh, duh Honest person, but also a sassy person. So instead she's gonna give us something in return She's gonna take our sword and now it's after her magic. It's throbbing Can you feel it throbbing in your hands viewers? Of course you can. We're so much stronger harder better faster and stronger. Now, if you drop your sword in there, you'll level up to the maximum level, the level four tempered sword. This is the best sword in the game, of course. Master sword be darned. So we're gonna leave. And then go right back. This is important. Make sure you got your bow out. Of course, we're gonna throw an item. I'm gonna dump it on in. I actually haven't been using the Y button to hit that at all, so I have no idea why it says that. I'm a rule breaker, do whatever I want. Here we go. Do I drop this? Yes, milady. And for our honesty again, she's gonna give us a component that you actually need to complete this game. The silver arrows are necessary to beat off Ganon in the final fight. Spoilers! So there you go. She's a little insecure, but we don't judge. We're supportive of all shapes and sizes. Ganon apparently made her feel a little bit unsure of herself, but we're here to build our friends up. So in return for our kindness, we get these silver arrows, which is wonderful. They don't actually look any different on this screen, um, which is weird, but that's okay. Okay, so now that we've done that, it's time for some overworlding, like I said. Probably just gonna focus on this today, not trying to go too crazy. As I get stuck on the bushes, Oops, let's try that again. Maybe a little bit more of a central spot. How about that? Okay, here we go. And with our brand new sword, we are unstoppable. We can take out these guys in one hit. Really strong sword beams, of course. So go ahead and get out your 2D flute. And get to blowing. Quack, quack. We're gonna make our way all the way over to Death Mountain. And this is the beginning of our uh, our quest to grab things to 100% this game. One of the few that I'm actually 
going to 100%. I mean, besides Yoshi's Island, that was a 100% from the beginning, and we all know that. So no need to worry about it. Gonna tank some hits here. Scoot right past these guys. You're just gonna sneak right past you. The old Midwest. Okay. We're gonna continue over to the right side of the screen. Excuse me. Could have come here a little bit earlier. As soon as you get the level two power glove, Titan's Mitt, whatever the heck it's called, you can come here. And this is a place where we could do some stuff and things. Hooray, we love that, viewers. Get some experience fighting some Tektites. Man, those rocks are really, really aggressive. I don't like that very much. But as you can see, got some caves that we can enter. I don't know. I don't remember exactly which one it is. Uh, I wanna say, wait, are we in the right spot? I feel like we're in the wrong spot. Let me check real quick. Something feels off, viewers. Let's, let's keep it going. I think this is actually something I need to do in the dark world. And that's why I am uh, confused. Yes, here we go. A little confuzzled. Don't worry about it, viewers. I figured it out with my big old brain. We did it. Now, you see these things kind of pulsing on the ground. Uh, there's nothing about the game that matters. I'm just going off script here, uh, off the script that doesn't exist. These things, they look like kind of those little lava cakes that you can get at like a really high-end restaurant, like an Applebee's or maybe a Domino's Pizza. Ever had those? It's kind of like a little donut that's filled with molten chocolate. Not a big chocolate boy, spoilers. Um, but I had one of those once and it was surprisingly not that bad. So this is not an endorsement of the treat. I would not eat it again just because my body and sugar are like, mm -mm, no, 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 do not want. So I can say that it wasn't the worst thing I've had. Off the top of my head, could not tell you what that is. Never been asked, so. Hey, D Mike, what's the worst dessert you've ever had? I don't know what sort of a conversation that would lead to, but probably not a good one. Let's talk about our favorites. What's our favorite dessert, viewers? I'm a brownie boy. Okay, easy. Duh. Common choice. No fighting that. Cheesecake is also good. And oatmeal raisin cookies. And if you don't like those, I don't care, viewers. I don't care if you don't like them. I love them. But anyway, we're in this cave. Why? Because there's things and stuff in here that uh, you can optionally get. There's no reason to do this. Like, if you're feeling confident in what you're doing with these wiener shaped blocks, um, you can come in here and uh, get yourself some money if you're running low on cash, which, you know, I'm not because I'm amazing. But uh, yeah, you can do that get yourself some stuff. This is just me. Showing off a little bit, okay? We're gonna head outside. Is this padding an episode? No. How could you say that, viewers? All right. So lift this big old rock. You get stoned. We're gonna go in here. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, how on the gosh dang earth do I get around here? Well, we haven't been using this very much. I think I used this on accident once. Um, but uh, yeah, you can temporarily uh, see the pathway with the ether medallion. It'd be pretty sweet if it lasted for longer than five seconds, but you know, first world problems. We can come in here and check out some more stuff. There's more bombable walls, some hearts if you need them. You can plant more than one bomb at a time, as we've learned now, because I'm not as dumb as I was. So... But we are still in need of a, um... Oh, thanks. This would be important if you were hurt, I guess. Just a nice great fairy fountain. Not the greatest fairy fountain. We've already met her. So don't worry about that. But if you're interested and you need a little bit of R&R, &R, a little TLC... If you need some more fairies, I've topped off already, so I'm doing good. But that's always helpful. All right, now this spot is important, viewers. Also, the lightning is making my brain flash. Okay, so go ahead and use your magic mirror. And land right on a piece of heart. That's, you know, pretty much the, uh, the most exciting part of this. 
I guess. Um, so we actually do need to go back to the um, words, the Tower of Hera area. So we're going to head back to the bottom, the nice base of the shaft of Death Mountain, as we're probably going to take a ton of damage on our way there, which is going to be making me super happy. Love that. After I just went and I saw a fairy fountain and little fairies, and now I have to take a bunch of balls to the face. Love it for me. Okay. But we're so powerful now that it doesn't matter. We can shrug those off. It is kind of crazy how much damage those still do. We're taking half damage from the blue male, and those were still doing about a heart apiece. Uh, viewers, uncool, to say the least. Duh. All right. So we're heading over to the Tower of Hera area. Tower of Heria. Come over here. Stop it. Stop it. I need to kill the local creatures, of course. As I do, we're heading over to the far eastern part of the map. This is kind of where we are trying to get to. I think this is where this is. Maybe we need to go up a little bit more. Uh, I think we actually need to get into where the Tower of Hera is, and so we need to do... I think it was the little trick. We go into the Dark World first. And then I think if we go up here, we can... It was one of these. Well, yep. And then uh, I think the magic mirror should put us in the right position. Super position? Yes. Okay. So we're headed to the far eastern corner of the map. Northeastern. This looks right. Maybe. See ya. All right. So we've never been over here yet. Why? Because you don't need to. So... Until now. Oh, look at that, viewers. Look at that parallax. Shading. Here we go. Um, viewers, I'm going to need you to do me a favor and uh, shut your mouth. Here we go. We've done it. The most difficult puzzle in the game has been concluded. All right, so... There's some stuff going on over here. I don't exactly know what any of this is. I forget. There's Moldorms over here. I don't think this is where I want to be. So I'm going to keep exploring. I don't remember really 100% how to get to where I'm trying to go, but this feels kind of right, maybe. We are headed to dungeon number eight, as you are aware of. That is the final dungeon that we need to beat off. Actually, you know what? This... I went in that cave and I didn't do anything with it, but there might be goodies in there, viewers, so... We're gonna try it. Don't knock it till you try it. Don't buy it till you try it. Oh, there's a fairy in here. Cool. Sometimes you'll just find that. If this doesn't lead to anything good, then I'm obviously gonna be a little peeved. But that's okay. We've got plenty of time to... Explore and think about our feelings. Yes, I don't know where any of this goes. Not gonna go in there. Where does this leave me? Lead me. Leave me. What is this? Oh, this is another way to get up there. Interesting, viewers. Check that out. Don't you like it? So if you want to go that way, you can. But uh, I'm going to take you the right way, so... Don't need to worry about that. Of course, collecting more cash along the way. Can't fight... And go through a dungeon without having our pockets swole with cash money. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to try to dispatch these guys. I really... I I don't know. Like, I... There are some enemies in this game that I actually really hate. And this is one of them. Um, Alright. So we're going to move this big old boulder out the way. We've got three spikes. Um, well, the... Uh, the rule of triangles and spike hammer thing post peg hitting rules is um, counterclockwise. So we're going to do it right. Oh, yeah. You hear that? Up. Ooh. And one more, viewers, for good measure. Oh, yeah, viewers. We have done it. 
And wouldn't you know it? Look at that down there. Oh, look at me. I got an underbite and I'm a turtle and I'm actually like a snapping turtle, but I kind of look like an alligator in the other games and he be, be anyway. All right. So as you can see, to do this, you need to have gotten the quake medallion, which we did a way back. That was in Lake Hylia over in that area. Hylian, 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 Hylian. Anyway, let's go ahead and use it and see what happens. Ooh, just jam that sword, that throbbing member sword and do this guy's back. And uh, we decapitate this creature. And uh, yeah, then we're allowed to enter said area. This, my friends, is Turtle Rock. So as you can see on the map, this is where the final dungeon of the game will reside that we will be doing next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with a link to the past, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!